Number 16. A brave but inadequate rugby player is being pushed backward by an opposing player who is exerting a force of 800 newtons on him. The mass of the losing player plus his equipment is 90 kilograms and he is accelerating at 1.2 meters per second squared backwards. Letter A. What is the force of friction between the losing player's feet and the grass? All right, so let's draw a, a very straightforward, just a little diagram here. This, this point will represent, I'll call that the losing player. This point will represent the winning player. They're in a match of rugby, right? They're playing the game of rugby, so therefore they're kind of mashed up in between and they're pushing, they're both pushing on one another. And it appears that the winner is winning, okay? And the winner is exerting an 800 Newton force on the loser. So now, in when I think about the um, forces, and I'm going to draw a little coordinate plane here, and this particular point will represent the loser. Um, when I think about the forces acting on him, first thing I have to um, show is the 800 Newton force. Now that force is pointing backward. Okay, why? Because the winner is exer excuse me, the winner is exerting that force on the loser, and also remember that they're accelerating backwards, right? So that would make sense. So here, this particular force is 800 newtons. Okay, great. Now, it also tells us that the acceleration right here is also backward. Okay, so what that means is the system is moving backwards. So I'll write acceleration is equal to 1.20 meters per second squared. And now it wants us to find the force of friction between the player's feet and the grass. So remember, friction always opposes the motion so if the loser is accelerating backwards, then the force of friction must be pointing in the opposite direction. Okay? By the way, it's not drawn to scale. The arrow sh should definitely be uh, smaller. Okay? Why? Because there's a net direction, uh, there's a net force in the left-hand direction. Why do I know that? Because the acceleration is that way. So here's the force of friction. So this whole diagram now completely describes the forces acting on the loser and um, the acceleration of the loser. Loser. So let's now take a look at the force. Some of the forces in the x direction will be equal to the mass times the acceleration in that x direction. So what are the forces? Again, we spoke about this. The force of friction is positive. All right. Why? Because of the direction it's pointing in. I know usually you might be used to seeing it being negative, uh, but in this case, he's being pushed backwards. So I have to appropriately represent that. Um, so the 800 Newton force, all right, is the force that's backward, so that's negative. The mass of this player plus his equipment was 90 kilograms, and then the acceleration, here's the thing, you got to plug in that negative sign, 1.20. Why? Because he's accelerating to the left. So to solve this, it's simple now, right? Just add the 800 on over to the right-hand side, and now let's just do the math. So it's 90 times negative 1.2 plus 800 and we get 692. So the force of friction on the loser is going to be 692 uh, newtons. All right, so we took care of that. So that answers a letter A. Okay, so now let's take a look at letter uh, B. So it says, what force does the winning player uh, exert on the ground to move forward if his mass plus the equipment is 110 kilograms? All right. And then C is just sketch the situation, but that, that's what I'm doing uh, in each part anyway. So now let's take a look at the, um, the, uh, a free body diagram from the winner's perspective. Okay, so this was all letter A. Sorry, this was all letter A. Now let's take a look at letter B. So let's draw a coordinate system for now the winner. Okay, so this represents the winner. All right, so here's our point right here. Now remember, not only is the loser uh, being accelerated backward, right? But since it's rugby, they're kind of tied together, right? Essentially, right? Uh, they're almost wrestling. And therefore, the uh, acceleration of the winner is also in the same direction. So I do know that. So let's write that here. So the acceleration here is 1.20 meters per second. Sorry, meters per second squared. Okay, great. So now um, we have to. So now we have to figure out. Well, what force does a winning player exert on the ground to move forward? Okay. So here is part of the trick here. All right. Uh, the ground. So the winning player will be exerting the force on the ground, but then the ground will be exerting the force on the winner, right? In order to propel him essentially forward. So what direction will that force be acting on the winner? Now remember. 
in order for the winner to move, um, let me see, in order for the winner to move to the left, there has to be a net force to the left, right? So what's happening is the winner's pushing backward, or meaning backward compared to the motion, okay? Because he's moving to the left. So the winner is pushing backward on the ground, and then the ground is pushing forward, but in an equal but opposite right direction. That's Newton's whole third law there, okay? So what that means is that uh, we should have a net uh, force in the left-hand direction, okay? So let me detail that here in the diagram. So now here, this will represent now the force, right? This will represent the force um, the winning player exerts on the ground. So I'll say this F sub G. Okay, so that's the force uh, that the winning player exerts on the ground. Okay, great. Um, now, also remember, if the winning player, right? And here's part of the Newton's third law again. If the winning player was exerting an 800 Newton force on the losing player, right? But then what that means is that the losing player would be exerting the same but opposite force on the winning player, right? So that being the case, we would also have a vector here that would be pointing backwards. And that value is 800 Newtons, okay? Remember, why is that the case? That is the case because since the winner is pushing on the loser with 800 Newtons of force, according to 800 Newtons, according to then Newton's third law, the loser must be pushing back on the winner with that same amount of force of 800 Newtons. Okay, so that's this second part is where this vector comes from. Right, you see how they're both pointing in the same direction? And then the first vector is where this one came from. Okay, so now... We have everything we need. We also know the mass of the winner, so now we can just plug it all in. All right, again, we're gonna use the summation of the forces in the x direction should equal to uh, be equal to mass of the object that is accelerating multiplied by uh, the acceleration of that object. So what are the forces in the problem? Well, now it's a positive 800, right? Minus the force that the player exerts on the ground, or in, in essence, that's really the force that the ground exerts on the player, right, technically. Uh, however, though, remember, the force that the uh, ground exerts on the player here or on the winner would be the exact same as the force that the winner exerts on the ground, right? Newton's third law. Remember, it's always important to be thinking about what forces are acting on the system of interest, not by the system of interest. So the mass is 110, and then the acceleration, again, it's still negative 1.20, all right, be careful with the signs there. So now when we do the math here, right, let's subtract over this 800. All right, let's subtract the 800 here. That cancels, now we have a negative FG, okay? So now it should be 110 times negative 1.2 minus 800. And we get negative 932, right? Negative 932, okay? So now, uh, taking care of these uh, taking care of these signs here, all we now need to all we now need to consider here is going to be uh, to just get rid of the negatives, right? So the force, sorry, the force um, that the ground exerts on the player is going to be a positive 932 newtons, and that should take care of that. All right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.